whatever I wanted to do, to get to eat whatever I wanted to eat. To me, adults are free. Then, I got older, and I <laughs> wished I was a kid. I missed the freedom to run around at recess. I missed the innocence of a child's mind. I missed going day to day with nothing more to worry about than what I was going to bring for show and tell. To me, kids were free. And now I'm heading to college. And sometimes I wish I were a dog, to have the freedom to lie around all day, to have nothing you have to do. To me, dogs are free. <laughs> cast a shadow over freedom. It was greed. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to save. Beasts of burden who are men. Women black and blue. Pray us to God for reading death. It, it must begin, begin with you. Keep your eyes wide open. And since there's been denied, fight, fight to, to give, give their freedom back. Fight, fight to give them pride. <laughs> Her freedom song she sings. 
Who do you think is going to take it today, Rick? 
Uh, Are you totally see? awesome in college? Well, it's... you're so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Mallory's older brother. Thank you, Rob. Yeah, they were. 
but luckily they were also on Sugar's list. I will be on Jade to not match.com because, well, it's just easier that way. I am your Hebrew name. I'm your Israeli cousins. I am your dwarf washing in your 13 candles. I am 18 when I discover that Israel is not actually a garden of Eden, of milk and honey where Jews of all backgrounds, ethnicities, and styles of worship come together eternally happy and appreciative to do a constant horror on the streets of the Holy Land. I am still confident that it will be. I am the way your stomach forgets to be hungry and your lungs forget to breathe when the rabbi commands the final tekiyah for the law. And the entire congregation, that is not any one synagogue, but entire people, listens. I am the ram's horn being blown into for the 5,770th time for what seems like 10 minutes, like the eight days of the oil burned, and how David defeated Goliath. I am Moses part of the seas. It would have been enough, dying. How he won the war and how your grandparents survived. Neskadol Hayasham. Shana Tova. Time for bagels and locks, because I am Jewish. <laughs> After spending the day with a six-year-old, I am exhausted, intimidated, and inspired. A six-year-old will assert their independence by saying, I can do it myself. And when we try to explain something to them, they say, I know, I know. And six-year-olds have a long view of history. No matter what bedtime story you tell them, and no matter what the ending, they will always say, and what happens next? <laughs> now, I love spending time with these little people because I learn a lot. And every once in a while, you have a great out of the mouths of babes moment, like this one. We're coming to your house to watch the fireworks on the 4th of July. I don't work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks, great. Hey, do you know why we have fireworks on the 4th of July? It has something to do with the plunge of allegiance. <laughs> the plunge of allegiance? Yeah, you know, where you stand and put your hand over your heart and you talk to the flag of America. <laughs> Gosh, you know, I, I don't know, but I know that. I'll tell you what, why don't you say it to me, all right? You pretend that I'm the flag. Say it to me. <sighs>
They asserted their independence. We can do it ourselves. When they were told what they were doing could be wrong, they said, we know, we know. And when they laid in bed at night, they probably thought, what happens next? <laughs> now, I suspect that the Congress of today, the men and women that sit in those hallowed seats in 2012, are sort of dealing with the same things as the Congress of 1776. They really don't have all the right words either. But they have plunged their allegiance for a better future. They know, and we know, that democracy is an ongoing and unfinished business. And that our very lives, <coughs> our fortunes, and our sacred honor is at stake on a daily basis. Every 4th of July, we will pause, and we will look at those fireworks. And perhaps we should stand tall, like we tell the six-year-olds to do when they plunge allegiance to the flag, and put our hands over our hearts and know that this spectacle of lights and noise is ultimately unbearably important and an obligation to liberty and justice for everybody, everywhere, and always. Um, Thank you. 
I'm Hayat. Life. We are all samurai. I come from a rich history of deep thinkers and inventors, physicians, mathematicians, astrologers who have changed the world. I'm red-headed. I am dark-eyed like Falcon. I am as ancient as Babylon, but as modern as Dubai. I love the pungent aroma of cardamom in my coffee. Thick and sweet. I am Bedouin. I'm Shake. I am a thousand and one nights. I am brother. I am sister. I pray five times each day. Inshallah. God willing. For mercy. For hope. For peace. I am a dog. I come from a long line of women who soak their pinto beans overnight. Mama, Grandma, Great Grandma, all meet in my kitchen when the pot is seasoned just right, while I grease my skillet for cornbread. The smells and sights have a hundred-year-old memory. Man, this is a pot of beans. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last, free at last. Think your own thoughts. Imagine living in a place where going outside without a scarf on your head could enter in jail. Imagine living in a country where the leader is someone you hate. And imagine being punished for telling anyone that that is the way you feel. <laughs>
that have been plainly led and embraced by silence, when hope becomes a victim in your great space, who looks for the light? Tell the origin of their king that 
You can eat them raw, some people make jams and preserves out of them. It's a really interesting fruit, and I suggest you try one if you come across it.
raised under the watchful eyes of your Aunt Velma, or your rabbi, or just some church lady who needed your pew. You have the freedom to believe or not to believe. That's nobody else's business but yours. Nobody's. Freedom from what? Of a food or a job or a place to sleep? Everyone deserves the right to inhabit their own little corner, peacefully, without someone keeping all the good things for themselves. Freedom from fear. Going to sleep at night knowing that there are good people awake, protecting you and your family from harm, because they believe in freedom too. Your freedom, their freedom. Libero, libero, grazie a Dio sono libero. Libero, libero, grazie a Dio sono libero. <laughs> Longed for still. When will we 
finally be allowed to breathe fresh air again. I long to ride a bike, to dance, to whistle, to look at the world and know that I'm free. The bridge I must cross is a mile long and an inch wide. Until I take my first step, I know the roads behind me. I have walked them before. Back there, there is nothing for me. The first time I met my mother, I was almost years old. She was on a quest for freedom and had to leave me back at home. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, the tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. She's leading the way in a green car, feeling lonely and so cold. Well, she did it for a purpose, worth so much more than gold. My freedom, for my freedom. I know why the caged bird sings, ah me. His wing is bruised and his bosom sore. When he beats his bars, he would be free. It is not a carol of joy or glee, but a prayer that he sends from heart's deep core, but a flinch that upward to heaven he flings. I know why the caged bird sings. often begins in a few minds, a few hearts, among men and women who are willing to risk everything for the sake of a universal ideal. They reject the counsel of fear, apathy, and despair. They accept sacrifices for a future they may not see, and they are capable of unsuspected greatness. I am from Syria. My name is Amar. They told me I was selfish, that the consequences will be born by my family. But the consequences of their silence have been born by me. Silence has consequences. Not dropping the ball has consequences. And the consequences of not dropping the ball may not be death or even arrest, but is a death of hope. I am Egyptian. My name is Ahmed. People who are fighting for their own freedom, for their own democracy, all over the world have to understand they are not alone. I am Cuban. My name is Ada. True, it's so powerful. And freedom, it's so powerful that even though if you are born in a country without freedom, if you want to be free, you will be free. And I am from East Timor. My name is Josephine. Don't lose hope. Persevere. Never surrender to hatred, to violence. Because the moment you surrender, you are losing. I'm Venezuela, and my name is Crystal Baylor. I am from East. My name is John Tom. I am Czechoslovakian. My name is Sasha Bonta. I'm from Syria. My name is Amar. I'm Egyptian. My name is Ahmed. I am Cuban. My name is Anna. I am from East Timor. My name is Josephine. Do not give up. Take courage. Keep Do your hope. It's the only way you can finally win. Do not give up. Take courage. Keep, Keep your, your hope. hope. It's the only way you can finally win. 
finally win. If you have been gifted freedom, pay it forward. To someone silenced by oppression or frozen from fear. I am responsible for humanity. Not we, or you, or someone. I am responsible. It's my obligation, my duty, my privilege. We sold the word at where she wrote. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. And friends. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. That statement, written during the two years that the teenager and her family hid from the Nazareth, bent on destroying them, has become an emblem of faith and resilience. As if in hope and courage of one child, we might find our own. I fear that she is wrong about how good we are. I fear because sometimes we are so woefully incapable of learning. I fear. She fears. And yet, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. Oh, yeah, the oxen free! And everyone comes out. Giving up their hiding place. Free! Free of getting caught. Now, now, this one single phrase in everybody's home. Oh, yeah, the oxen free! Pretty simple, huh? Until somebody cheats. Until somebody doesn't care about the game or you. Just about winning. If you're safe, tucked away. You hear it, you trust it, you stick your head out, and wham! His slap stings and he's off. What childish prank you step in my path? But with such a confidence, I declare my vow. For anyone like you who lives, to quench the fire that freedom gives. This is a lesson you should heed. Try, try, try again. If the first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. <laughs> Once or twice, so you should fail. Try again. Woo! If you would have left for fail, try again. Woo! This right is not this great, so we may not win the race. What should you do in that case? Try again. We hold, we all shall see who stays in fear. Who's your raven and who blurs? She don't play fair. You want to told. You think you will win. But you will fall. Doggies, my cat, my parrot, Adele and Danny! We want 
torch of democracy. We are the keeper of the flame. We don't turn our backs on our neighbor. No, our freedom might slip away.
Look, I can only judge my actions. Look in the mirror and see if I'm a freedom fighter. Making sure that those without a voice have someone to speak for them. Because they do not have that power.